Um, hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by our presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So I'd like to talk to you about this paper, Breaking with Tradition, Open Innovation as an Enabler for Responsible Innovation, which I co-authored with uh, three of my uh, colleagues, Leopoldo Gutierrez, Josep Anton Tribo, and Ruth Aguilera. And my name is Ivan Montiel from Baruch College. What are the research questions? So we have two different questions. One, the first one is, uh, we were wondering what was, the, what was the connection between responsible innovation, and I'll get into what we mean by responsible innovation, and open innovation approaches, the degree of openness that companies take in order to innovate. And also whether uh, there are any difference between innovating responsibly versus uh, the traditional innovation that companies uh, take place. So uh, let me give you an example of what we uh, see as a responsible innovation. So here you'll see a Banco de Bogota initiative. Uh, you'll see a bus, and this is a, an initiative that they started, they call it Aulas Mobiles, mob mobile classroom. And they decided to go all over Colombia and provide uh, uh, access to finance education to micro-entrepreneurs, youth, government workers, extreme poor individuals, any uh, part of the population that needed uh, um, training and information about how to open an account, how to have a credit card, how to save, and so on. And that was a partnership between the Banco de Bogota, as I said, the company, but also different agencies uh, that I have listed here that are basically, uh, a lot of them governmental, and that they are fighting to uh, help um, um, advance in, in terms of poverty, uh, agencies about learning and so on. So that you can see here that there was an open innovation approach, collaboration to innovate responsibly and provide this kind of training that otherwise uh, people would not have. In terms of SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, we can see that this is an initiative that tries to advance and, and basically eradicate poverty and provide quality education. And also number 10, the Sustainable Development Goal about reducing inequalities. So why is this original or why do we think this is original? So uh, most of the studies in open innovation, they've been looking at the, in the context of traditional innovation, innovations that basically companies put into place to gain comp competitiveness, to increase their commercial value and so on. But uh, in the case of responsible innovation, we seem to be uh, a, a, a need for more openness, right? So we want to understand what's the difference here between these two types of innovations in terms of the openness. And I think this seems to be one of the first longitudinal studies that look at the firm level responsible innovation measure and try to both conceptually and empirically uh, try to uh, find some sort of part, uh, um, co um, connection between these two components, open innovation and responsible innovation. So a lot of the studies on open innovation, they talk about uh, two dimensions or two components. The breadth, which is basically how many partners, how many stakeholders do you get involved? Suppliers, customers, uh, uh, track contractors, anyone. And also the depth, whether you uh, establish a, a, a superficial relationship with them, low depth, or a high relationship with a lot of meetings, a lot of uh, interaction, and so on. So depth and, depth and breadth are two components important in, in our study. We also think that responsible innovation compared to uh, traditional innovation differs in uh, four differential attributes. So we think that responsible innovation is looking also for adding this commercial value to be competitive, to sell more. This is important in any kind of innovation, but also this uh, sustainable or social or environmental value. The idea of alleviating grand societal, societal challenges like poverty, quality education, things about environmental issues that I, I, I showed in, before in the example. We also think that the, the, the value is co-created between the company, but also the, the stakeholder that you get uh, um, connected to during the, the, you know, you need to, to create value you as a company, but also uh, together with the stakeholders. There is more knowledge seeking. The idea here that, you know, solving societal issues, solving grand challenges, 
it's more complex companies don't know very much how to do it so one way to go with it is to seek for more knowledge versus the traditional innovation you know i'm a product a process that companies are more familiar with and last also we seem to be um there seem to be more a long-term orientation in these innovations we're not saying that traditional innovation is not long-term oriented but maybe the in the case of uh, responsible it's more right some some uh, research basically tend to 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 identify some of the innovation strategies the traditional ones as more short-term focus the first hypothesis is very straightforward baseline hypothesis we say that there's a, a positive connection between open innovation uh, both the depth and the breadth components and responsible innovation. But then we get into understanding what are the mechanisms here that basically uh, facilitate this, uh, this, uh, or this idea that openness is more needed in responsible innovation. So one thing is the idea of organizational learning. Companies want to learn how to be responsible, how to innovate responsibly, right? So the idea of organizational learning. But also there's this idea of a stakeholder commitment. You want to create, co-create value with stakeholders. You need to uh, come up with some sort of guarantee, some sort of uh, social contract, some sort of commitment, so that uh, you know you can collaborate with them in an open approach. But that's something that is a, there is a commitment from both sides. From following from that, we notice that. Uh, uh, traditional innovation or innovation in general and research, they have a look at the open innovation and find that uh, openness is good until a certain level where, where there is a saturation effect, right? Too much uh, depth or too much breadth, too many collaborators, too many stakeholders, at some point there is a saturation effect. This idea of inverse pool uh, shape relationship. In eco-innovation, which is a, some a, a kind of responsible innovation, the literature tends to see uh, that uh, or they find that there is saturation, but not always. And uh, for example, these studies, they find saturation in breadth, in number of, of, of partners or stakeholders, but not in depth. Here we claim that responsible innovation is even more complex. It's, uh, it's about social or environmental issues and so on. And we basically think that this saturation effect might not be in place so unlike traditional innovation there is no saturation in the generation of uh, innovation and the inverse u-shaped relationship that we find or the studies find in traditional innovation it's not present here but also some studies they also talk about this idea of substitutability when you do best death maximize death and breath at the same time at some point there is a substitution effect right so studies in this uh, area they also find uh, this interaction effect to be important right and there is uh, this plane as a substitutability effect we claim that in, in the case of responsible innovation since these mechanisms of stakeholder commitment and organizational learning it's they're more important this substitutability effect might not be present so that's our third hypothesis here so how do we study that how do we analyze that so we we conducted an empirical quantitative study we used the spanish technological innovation panel PTEC database we uh, were able to get data for five years the period 2012 2016 for more than 1500 companies so we have more than seven thousand observations and we focus here in the most polluting industries um, the idea that these ones are uh, the ones that are more likely to to be um, um, pressured to innovate responsibly and so on and it is an fixed effect estimation uh, just really quick i mean you can see the paper but we have created a, a measure or a proxy for responsible innovation that looks that has uh, some of environmental innovation components, reducing environmental impact and so on, but also the stuff more social, improving environmental health and safety, the idea of providing more flexibility and so on. And then traditional innovation, it's more uh, a scale or an index that comes from the traditional innovation uh, measures, like new markets penetration, um, have wider range of products and services and so on. Here, uh, obviously, uh, this is really small, just to show you that we, uh, you know, we have uh, different control variables that uh, they're being uh, included in these kind of studies. But uh, I'll, sh I'll show you here, you know, uh, really quick or somewhere the, the results that we 
we find some somehow. So for when there is orientation of traditional innovation, we can see here uh, the, uh, the quadratic of death and breath, which is the saturation. There is a significant effect, negative, so the inverse O shape, and also in the, in the interaction between death and breath. However, when uh, in the case of the orientation to responsible innovation, we don't see this effect. It's here in yellow. And uh, uh, it's not really well, but uh, you can see, you get the idea. And we don't seem to find saturation and substitutability. So, just to summarize really quick, uh, we think that theoretically uh, we are able to understand better the strong connection between openness or open innovation in responsible innovation context, where we don't find saturation in depth and breadth and not substitutability. And we explain these two, probably these uh, four differential attributes that are reinforced with these two mechanisms the organizational learning and stakeholder commitment. And we're able to find this strong connection that it's, it's different than in traditional innovation. Contribution to practice, this idea that in responsible innovations, companies to engage in more intense external collaboration with the stakeholders to address grand challenges and uh, an idea that this hopefully helps us managers to be more open, to collaborate with any kind of a stakeholder, get knowledge from them and being able to responsible innovate in a, in a more effective way. In grand challenge literature, how to, how to deal, how, how to approach innovation to solve and challenges and to address the SDGs uh, from the UN. And uh, thank you so much.